So, my, so when you push me, my elbow drop and then I go. You see the force coming in, right? He will go. So let's say you touch my elbow, you push my elbow. Well, how Tai Chi, we say pushing the elbow. Tui zhou, zhou means the elbow. So is the hand. You see, you see the words are very similar. So be, because in the villages, people speak with an accent. And then over the years, uh, somehow the language got changed and become tui shou, which is pushing hands instead of pushing elbow. Okay. Why do we say pushing the elbow? There's a reason why. It's because when you lock somebody's elbow, they're finished. When you push somebody's elbow, they're finished. If you push somebody's hand, so let's say we're pushing hands, and then I'm gonna push him, and he go, you go all the way back, like you're gonna do open close, go all the way back, then he go too much, now you try to go forward, you can't. Why is that? Because he went too much. Let's say you're here, it's harder for me. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Let's say he's doing it to me, you're pushing me forward, and I go like that, and you just move me. So I go, I can't go anymore. Unless when he's gonna do to me, unless I neutralize this way. If I don't neutralize, if we go all the way, if I elbow past my back, the chances of me to recover is harder. So when we do our form, remember, elbow never pass the back. Or at least the most you align it. Maybe a little bit further is okay, but not at least two or three inches away. So let's say he's pushing me, pushing me down, and I go all the way. And then all the, that, that's it, I go, I'm done. I can't do anything about it because I already went all the way back. My center of gravity have went back. Okay, let's say he's doing that, he's pushing me. He's going there, why? Because I'm, my elbow's going. So, my, so when you push me, my elbow drop and then I go. You see the force coming in, right? He will go. So let's say you touch my elbow, you push my elbow, push my, I'm finished. If you push my elbow this way, if you push towards my shoulder, boom, I'm finished. Push it again. He push and I go again. So basically when he touch my elbow, I rotate my elbow, I change the momentum for him. It's like a merry-go-round. Well, I don't know what you call it. Carousel. Carousel. Okay. Yeah. Not a carousel. Yeah. Well, you know the big thing the kids yeah. play in the park? Merry-go-round. I call it a yeah. British call it merry-go-round. Anyway, I don't know what's an American word for it. So basically, so when he touches me here, if he push me here, then all I'm going to do, I turn him and then I go. And remember my famous lecture on the finger? If you push me here, if I do that, not so good. See, if I do that, my hand's going up. I cannot move now. You push it, ah, my finger go. And I also poke his tongue. If I'm going to be brutal about it, I'll dig his guts and take it out, and then show it to Mike and say, hey, you like this? You can have it. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, so so he's, if he push my elbow, then it's harder, but I need to sink. I need to sink my elbow and rotate into him and then go. Single way, the same thing. So from here, the elbow is aligned. We step back, we rotate. See the elbow are moving because the body are moving. And we sink, the elbow are moving together. And we step and we push. The elbow is separating, but the elbow also moving together. Let me make a big circle so that the elbow is also moving together and they sink together in the same level. Okay, think about it. If you are mindfully involved with understanding how the elbow joint and the elbow move, you automatically, automatically show love to your elbow. If you show love to your elbow, they feel good. Your elbow feel good, you're in love. Your elbow is in love. So they feel good, they feel harmony, they're happy, they're in balance. If they're in balance, then they become strong. And they're strong, nobody touch them. Nobody can break them up because they have balance, yin and yang balance, they're in love. Single whip, when we do our single whip, when we strike, what is going on? Elbow. Single whip is actually an elbow strike. If I miss my guard, then I'm gonna take his neck with this. Okay? If I miss my elbow getting on him, then this palm, then this whip, this part of the whip, the first part of the whip is gonna go here. This half of the whip is going to go here. Okay, so, so let's say he, let's say we're pushing hands and he comes into me. See, single whip is like this. I, like this. And then boom, like this. Okay, and then 
I go like this, same thing. I do the same thing, same thing, one more time. Same thing. So basically, you push, you push my hand, I come here, and I do that. So, single wave, one, take a step forward, right? And then if I do a fighting, I'll put him down or I'll throw him there if I want to. Okay, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So, so it is here. But if I decide not to throw him, or something, I say you put not to throw him, then boom, finish. What is this here? The solar plex. Uh, solar plex is here. This is a very dangerous here. There's a rib cage here. There's a point over here. You can kill someone here. If you kick someone flat, it's okay. It's only when it's shot going in. If you just jump in like that, you can mess up. So, so that's why this hand is coming in, and then it goes here. Right. So if, if, if let's say, if this, this hand is going in, and then you try to run away, then this is going to go. Right. Or, then it could be upper. It could be upper, and then go. Then I'm not using here, then I'm using here. But when I do it this way, then I'm not using my elbow too much, except my elbow is stopping you from coming into me. But I'm using my palm to, uh, to knock you. So that's the another elbow. <laughs>